A night's accommodation includes authentic entertainment and not so authentic Bain Marie's. I can't believe that we're in the middle of the desert and we can have a buffet. I don't know how traditional that would have been. I'm sure that's how they do it. What? Not okay. in the desert. Not in the desert. They I go don't out think. and kill their own food and then come back and cook it on a fire or something. Look, they've got my favourite cauliflower bake. I feel like I'm having a Sunday roast. <laughs> A Sunday roast of the exotic kind. What have we have? Camel and chicken. Camel and chicken. The big question at dinner is... What is this? Who can get over the hump of eating camel? I'll have some camel, please. I really don't know if I can eat camel. Especially when he said it was a baby camel. What's it like? It honestly tastes like beef. The camel was delicious. It was beautiful. It is the chewiest bit of meat I've ever had. It's like eating a 20-year-old Brahmin. Chow down on it and it was just terrible. I don't even think my dog would eat that. Spicy. Everything's spicy. <gasps> Why do they wreck meat like that? <laughs> it's a bum burner. <laughs> <laughs> So do you like the camel? I do, I love it. Yeah. So do I. I don't know if it's a flavour that's marinated in, but it's absolutely delicious. But it's tender. It's beautiful. You know, we had the emu and alligator and crocodile. This is pretty much up there with them. Absolutely, no, this is terrific. Well, we've tried yeah. lots of animals before. Yeah. So what's your favourite endangered species that you like to eat? Camel's not endangered species, is it? Certainly mm, not well, in the Australia. The one that we ate was. Yes. <laughs> 